in the second part we are going to complete this robot creation and animation tutorial so what are we waiting for let's start the video press n and click on this item button and now you can see the rotation is not applied click the wheel and also this one and press ctrl a click on rotation now we're going to add some bones to this robot press one for the front view shift a add a single bone from the armature now press shift s and click on selection to cursor now press g grab it a bit up now click on object data properties we put display and check in front now press tab select the upper ball grab it down now press tab again for the object mode select this object and click on cursor to select it select the bone again press tab select the upper ball shift s selection to cursor okay now we need more bones press e to extrude one more time select this small bone press alt p and disconnect the bone grab it here press tab select the cylinder press tab press l on the cylinder press p and click on selection now select one cylinder in the object mode press tab and slash now select this face press shift s and click on cursor to select it now press slash and tab out now select the armature now press tab once again select the lower ball of this bone shift s and selection to cursor now press tab select this antenna press tab once again and select this face shift s cursor to select it now from the object mode select this armature press tab select this bone no 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 not this bone press ctrl z like this bones upper ball now shift s selection to cursor now press the period button and select the 3d cursor okay now select this bone press shift d right click and press one for the front view and rotate it on the z axis 180 degrees now from the object mode press z and select the wireframe mode and now i want to select the body also select this one now at the end we are gonna select uh, the armature and now press control tab select this bone press control p and click on bone okay now this one is gonna control the whole body now repeat the same process for the upper body but we don't need the antennas to be selected so deselect these antennas and also i just have disabled the armature okay one more object deselect this one and now we need to enable this armature because we have to select this one but at last okay now press ctrl tab and select the middle bone press ctrl p click on bone press tab for the object mode disable the armature now select this antenna press tab press l ctrl p and click on selection do the same thing for these objects you can press alt a before selecting anything to make sure that you are just selecting this one okay now we just separate these objects in the object mode select these three objects enable the armature select the armature press ctrl tab select this bone press ctrl p and click on bone now we're just gonna repeat the same process for the other size antenna we're in the pose mode we assigned the bones to the body so here we can check is it rotating and moving correctly or not okay now we can change the pivot point to the median point for this one press r and x twice to rotate this okay now get back in the object mode select the field press and right click on the x rotation and click on add driver now we're gonna change this expression to var multiplied by 3 and from here we're gonna change the location we need y location the wheel is gonna rotate on the x location when we move the robot on the y location now go back on the driven property and from the object list like the armature select the first bone that we have created you can also see the name of the bones just click on the armature and from the subject data properties click on names and now you can see uh, the names of your bones okay now press ctrl tab and select this one and grab it on the y-axis uh, everything is working fine but our wheel is rotating on the negative direction so from the expression we are just gonna add minus before three and check once again everything is good when we are moving this bone on the y-axis the wheel is rotating on the x-axis now select this part of the wheel and the wheel press ctrl p object keep transform now this one is also going to move with the wheel great head is also moving properly okay now press ctrl tab again uh select this this one this object and grab it a bit outside select the armature once again and enable this collection select this spoon press zero from the number pad okay click on view and check the camera to view it's a very good time to set a good camera angle before adding animations to our robot now we can uncheck this camera to view option and disable this collection for a bit now move to the frame 50 to 60 press i and click on location now go to the first frame and drag it here on the y-axis press i once again and click on location we've created a simple animation like this i'm gonna select this head bone press i click on rotation after the 10 frames rotate the head to the camera and after rotating this press i click on rotation 
great it's working properly again i'll select the last keyframe and duplicate this and place it here and now duplicate the first keyframe and place it here okay now select this bone press i and click on location drag this here and now grab this bone on the y-axis here and press i click on location let me play the animation okay the head is moving too fast so select the head bone and select these grab them here and let me see okay let me select this all at once and press s and scale it up okay i think it's better now I put the frame on the last key I select this bone and grab the last key to match the previous frame previous key sorry now I'm going to enter the end frame about 125 and I'm also going to change the start frame to 15 From this point, the robot is moving too fast. To fix that, just grab this last key. I think I have to change the end frame to 130. Now we just have completed the animation part. Congratulations, now disable this collection. Press Ctrl Tab. Okay, now I have to select some of the objects and press H to hide. And hide the tires, uh, hide the armature, hide the ears, head, eyes, hide everything okay this one also press h to hide now select all the things and at last select the rim add a new material rename it as metal press ctrl l and click on link materials now every material sorry every object has the same material set the metallic to 100 percent and also i'm gonna reduce the roughness to 0.1 press a press m move them in a new collection rename it press ok now press alt h to get everything back now right click on the metal collection select them one more time press ctrl i we have selected all the things except the metals now deselect the tires shift click on any object to make it active and create a new material i'm renaming it as red metal link the material to all these objects as we did before for the color i'm increasing the hue 100 percent and reducing the value to 0.3 metallic 100 percent and reduce the roughness to 0.1 now it's time for the tires add a new material black and make it a bit dark roughness to 0.7 now from the rendered properties i'm going to reduce the samples to 128 max samples from the viewport and also from the render split the screen i need two press zero for the camera view now we can remove all these things because we are going to see the render result here so press z and click on render view okay now select the head and in the edit mode select these three faces uh, from the materials properties add, an, add a new material assign it and rename it as emission for the surface press e when you're choosing the surface and for the strength i'm using five I'm going to use the same material for these objects also. And one more object. No, no, not this one. Select this one, edit mode and select this face. Already selected, I think. Okay, create and choose emission, assign it. Okay, so this object should be a bit outside. Press G and Y twice and grab it a bit outside. Now I need a plane. Shift A and add a plane. Okay, scale it up a bit on the Y axis. In edit mode, I'm going to extrude this side. Select the middle edge. Press Ctrl B. Scroll the wheel up. In the object mode, right click, shade smooth. And same for these objects. Okay, now enable this collection. Uh, I have a light. I don't need this light. Select the light and press X. Delete it. Shift A and I need another light. The point light. Press 7 for the top view. Grab the light here. Shift D duplicate and grab it here. Okay. Now grab it up on the Z axis. A bit back. We're going to select this light and I'm going to change the color. A bit orange, a bit yellow. Select the second one and increase the power. Not 5. 
I need 50. 50 is 50 is okay. I'll select the backdrop and add a new material and rename it. I'm gonna use the hue 0.05 and the saturation 0.8. Okay. Okay, now go to the output properties and change the file format to FFmpeg encoding to mp4. Choose the output location and everything is done. Go to vibram mode and press Ctrl F12. Everything is done and your animation is ready. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn the VFX part, then you should check the left video on your screen. Bye bye. See you later.